after fishing the uh, Twizel water channels, I um, headed further south to my uncle's uh, in central Otago, and then uh, from there I went over to the uh, west coast. At the uh, top of the Lindus Pass is a uh, monument uh, all about when uh, the first red deer in Otago were released. So uh, whether you want to pause that on that and try and read it, um, it's a bit blurry, but uh, you might get the gist of it. It was a uh, nice drive over to uh, central Otago, and uh, I arrived at my uncle's at about uh, midday. Can't be in there. <laughs> Look, he's pissed. <laughs> he's, <amazed>. he's toasted. <laughs> Over my stay there, I uh, went out and did a little bit of um, rabbit pest control around the vineyard. Driving over to uh, the west coast is always a good feeling, whether, uh, whether it's raining or sunny, it really doesn't matter. Nice place to be. Um, once I arrived there, uh, it was about five days before the start of the season, so uh, set up camp, um, got organised, built a uh, trailer, um, smoked up the last of the big trout with uh, me mates, uh, had a few beers, uh, just kicked back and uh, swatted a few sand flies. Well, just smoking up the last of the old oh. trout here. Beautiful. <laughs> First day of white baiting today. So uh, we shall see how we go. Push of the tide will start shortly, so. A uh, good mate turned up about 10 o'clock and uh, from there we just ended up back at camp uh, on the bears so uh, not a lot of white bait caught on uh, day one. Found a bit of a spot in here. It's not going to be the easiest to uh, work due to the surroundings and the scrub and bush and stuff but uh, getting the net in later on is the problem. There's not a lot of shoreline, so uh, we'll see if we'll catch a uh, white bait first and then uh, deal with unloading the net later. Um, I'd actually found this uh, fishing spot about the uh, 27th, 28th of uh, August um, when I was searching for a good fishing place uh, up and down the river in my boat. Um, so I uh, set up here and it uh, turned out to be quite a good spot. Um, the bait started swimming up this day on the 2nd of uh, September and uh, basically didn't stop all day. Considering it was uh, only the second day of the season, day two, I was uh, amazed at some of the size of the shoals that were coming through and uh, it was certainly good to see. Well, by about three o'clock, uh, I decided to uh, call it quits. I uh, had had a good catch, and um, uh, by the time I weighed, cleaned up and weighed up later on, uh, I had just over 10 kilo. Well, we're uh, really getting dug in now. Set up for the uh, next five or six weeks. Home away from home. With the sand flies, of course. 
can't see them but they're in here over that first uh, week I uh, did quite well uh, netting in around 25 to 30 kilo uh, which was quite good and encouraging to see um, after that the uh, rest of the weeks I was there approximately five weeks um, everything sort of dropped off a bit and had its highs and lows well I uh, came over here the other day and uh, some cheeky bugger has put on a waratah there right by my whiteboard as you see throwing some uh, planks and uh, poles there I've heard that a stand has applied to um, come here I've been here um, over a week this is about day 10 or 11 Got a uh, few white baits showing up, so that's good. Uh, the old shelter's here all but done. Got some drizzle or rain coming tomorrow, or rain they're talking in the uh, late afternoon, so. Beautiful day at the moment, beautiful. Got a uh, bit of lunch on there. Now the uh, 12th of September, um, as they predicted, in came the rain later in the afternoon. Uh, it was a two day rain and uh, only about 10 mil, so um, there was no uh, river flood, which was good. Fishing on this uh, sandy area, um, I was getting sand in my white bait um, most days, so I had to uh, make sure that I uh, washed it clean. We uh, had had such a first nice couple of weeks that um, the weather eventually changed, and um, we got. Uh, a good rain drum pretty much every week thereafter, if not two a week. Um, but uh, you always got to take in the good with the bad. Um, I continued fishing and uh, got some good catches um, on and off um, until the uh, whitebait stand came and set up on the uh, 26th. And uh, I was forced out of that area and um, had to go and set up in a different place. We uh, got a lot of rain uh, in October, uh, especially from the uh, 7th to the 12th, which had uh, actually peaked on the uh, 9th, um, on that day that uh, we actually got quite a good flood out of that. What you've uh, got to remember with this uh, white baiting is that uh, this is the highlights of um, six weeks um, condensed down into 15 minutes. So. Um, there are plenty of dead days catching nothing and uh, you know you, you sort of watch a video like this and think it's like this all day every day which it's not um, you get plenty of these days this is kind of proof that uh, every day is not a sunshiny day on the west coast I've got a cup of soup There's probably about 50 white bait in the net well, the water's rising a wee bit too fast at the moment, so we campers are going to vacate, these guys and me. Sam's car's not even working, so we've got to tow him out, his van out, 
but we have elected to move. Right, we've just located uh, to a dock parking ground. It's best I can do at this moment because I've got to go back now and get the other guys out. Uh, Cam was just towing Sam out, so he's got his vehicle out. We will have a look to see what this uh, river has risen. The sad thing is, sometimes it can be a false alarm, so you just don't know, but um, Les is just hooking on and leaving. The uh, rain was forecast to uh, ease off this afternoon, uh, but if anything, it certainly got heavier and I don't blame the forecasters for that because they hey it's prediction you can never get it right it's just a guessing game I actually don't think it's going to go much higher to be honest the rain stopping I think we all would have been fine but you can never tell you can't just yeah, ignore these things and go oh it'll be right it'll be right and then you wake up in the middle of the night, dead in your caravan. Step in a hole. Step in a hole in a minute and go right up to the middle. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> And he's got to get in my car in a minute. That's the worst part of it. I think he can just walk home. It's about looking out where my uh, caravan door was a couple of hours ago. <laughs> you see, he's got some logs going past. Holy hell. That uh, big flood um, kind of marked the end of my trip as I only had about uh, 10 days to go. So uh, in that week I uh, went for a couple of hunts which was uh, no good due to uh, more 1080 being dropped. Um, so that was a bit hopeless. Um, once the river cleared and dropped enough I uh, went across and rescued all my gear which I was lucky to actually get any of that back. Um, I then spent uh, my last uh, four or five days uh, fishing in a wee spot I'd uh, started at the um, very start of the season. Well, that's how I'm fishing today. Haven't caught a lot. <laughs> nah. Well, there you go. I have water. Not a lot. But the chance of getting a white bait has just gone up. Have a uh, check of the net. Looks like there's a wee bit in there. 